Self-incrimination was prohibited by law. Yeah, that's the way they indicted him. Virtually all aspects of all six trials that Jesus endured were illegally administered. The religious trial was over. The next step was the criminal trial before the civil authorities. Only they could execute him for death by a method that had been invented a century earlier and prophesied seven centuries earlier. Very strange, very interesting. The binding of a prisoner before he was condemned was unlawful unless resistance was offered or expected. And of course, Jesus offered none. It was illegal for judges to participate in the arrest of the accused. They arranged it. There were no legal, transaction, no legal transactions, including a trial, could be conducted at night. That's Jewish law. The arrest was effected through the agency of an informant and traitor. That was illegal. While an acquittal could be pronounced the same day, any other verdict required a majority of two and had to come on a subsequent day. That was their law. That was all obviously ignored. No prisoner could be convicted on his own evidence. Against the law. It was the duty of the judge to see that the interest of the accused was fully protected. No, it was what we would call a kangaroo court from day one. Preliminary hearings before a magistrate were completely foreign to the Jewish legal systems. They didn't have preliminary hearing. The judges sought false witness against Jesus. That was against the law. In a Jewish court, the accused was to be assumed innocent until proved guilty by two or more witnesses. That obviously was not operative here. The Jews failed to find two witnesses agreeing. They even then couldn't agree. They had to con get him on his own testimony. When the witnesses first disagreed, the prisoner should have been released. That was the procedure. The trial under Caiaphas took place in his home rather than the council chamber where it should have been held. The council lacked civil authority to condemn a man to death. That was a Roman prerogative, and that's what they're going to try to invoke here. It was illegal to conduct the session of the court on a feast day. It just adds up on and on. There are books written on this. I've just given you the highlights. A guilty verdict was rendered without evidence. The balloting was illegal. It should have been done by roll with the youngest voting first. Typical wardroom procedure in the Navy, let alone in the... Anyway, the sentence was finally passed in the palace of the high priest, but the law demanded it be pronounced in the temple in the hall of hewn stone. There were all these procedures that were ignored. This was a railroad job, obviously. The high priest rends his garment. That's expressly prohibited in Leviticus 21.10. And uh, if he did not have his priestly robe on, he couldn't have put Christ under oath. So we know he had his priestly robe, but it was the priestly robe that he tore. That's against the law too. So it compounds.